Friday Night Blitz is sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. I'm Jack James. This is the Waukee Northwest Student Section, and you're watching Friday Night Blitz. Welcome into Friday Night Blitz. I'm Raina Garcia, joined by Jake Brennan. And Jake, we might as well call this one a rivalry week because there were some good ones on the schedule. Today. We had that one. That's the traditional old rival. And now we've got this one. They called themselves the best rivalry in the state. They had it on both sides of the student section. And believe it or not, it was the first time these two schools have played, even though it's been three years since the Waukee Community School District split into two. But let's just say this won't be the last. The three-part series on the basketball court last winter was electric. That's a preview of what to expect tonight. Uh, the atmosphere is crazy, and I expect the same thing here. A lot of the parents and community members are friends. They do things together. For, but for that one night, you can definitely tell the, the sense of pride uh, in each school. And everybody wants to win that game, no matter what it is. The game started at 7.45. Most, uh, our students here were, were here at 4, waiting in line to get into the student section. Basketball was fun, but that's that's inside, and it's less people but football football is you know the real deal it's it's the American sport the capacity has been set at 9,000 that certainly won't be an issue to fill all of them will be there to watch a game of players that grew up dreaming of playing for the Warriors it's pretty weird grew up always going to walkie games still know a lot of guys have a lot of friends over on that team but um, I love this group that we have here and I think we're going to go out and just do what we do. You build relationships with people from your school and get closer with them. But yeah, you still have old relationships over there. Um, yeah, I'm excited to play them, talk to them after the game. But you know, in between the lines, between the whistles, it's, it's game on. I don't think I'll be, I'll be looking at anyone and saying, hey, how are you doing? I'll, I'll be locked in trying to you know, kill them. <laughs> Whether said publicly or behind closed doors, this game is massive. It's just another game we know what we need to do, we know our job, and I think that uh, we're just really focused on us this week, and that will take care of itself on Friday. It, it's easy to say it's just another game. They all count the same, which in the end they do record-wise, uh, but it is a big game. I mean, to be honest, it's, it's big for this community, big for the, for the kids, for the schools, and it's big for the coaches. I think we're all looking forward to this. Game of the Week, sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. Waukee Northwest gets to host the inaugural one. What an atmosphere it was. There's the Wolves running out of the tunnel. Second quarter, Waukee's Grant Gamble breaks through the line of scrimmage. He's off to the races, brought down inside the 10 at a face mask in there too. Then in the red zone, they go right back to Gamble and he finishes what he started. Seven zip Warriors. We head to Northwest, they're driving but not for long. Drop back throw and Mason Brooks wins the battle. That's an INT for Waukee. And this one happens fast. I was running down the field to try and catch it. It's Che, Gabriel Che off to the races. Goes 81 yards for the score. 14-0 Waukee. But Northwest ends the first half with some momentum. Sam Johnson drops back lofts for Will Retz, a diving catch. What concentration. That actually ends up being big. The Wolves pull off the fourth quarter comeback and win the first battle for Waukee, 20 to 17. Well, let's take a look now at the Newton DCG game. Both teams lost their first games last week. Though the first half, the, it was low scoring, but sophomore kicker Dylan Lackland hits a field goal to get the scoring started in the first, put DCG up three to nothing. We'll move to the second quarter now, and you gotta know your surroundings here. Check out this hit by the Cardinals. Caden Klein sacks the quarterback, and Damian Smith recovers the ball. DCG still up three nothing at this point, but to the third quarter we go now. Still three to nothing Mustangs until the Cardinals. Cardinals punch it in from a couple of yards out, and this put Newton on top. 7-3, the Cards add two more touchdowns to close out the second half, and they go on to beat DCG on the road 
Ankeny hosting Southeast Polk in a rematch of the 2020 and 2021 state championship games. Ankeny is the team that strikes first. Luke Anderson connects with Devin Akers in the end zone to put the Hawks up 7-0 in the first quarter. And it's the Rams' turn. Sam Zelenovic, he gets the ball and he takes it into the end zone to tie this one at seven. And then it's QB1, Connor Moberly, Iowa State commit, one of the best quarterbacks in the state. He gets out of the pocket, scrambles, and puts the Rams up 14-7. Southeast Polk makes a major statement and wins this one 58-21. Well, we've got a lot more to get to here on Friday Night Blitz. Coming up, we've got another great rivalry game. The Dowling Catholic Maroons and the Valley Tigers battle it out in the latest installment of this historic rivalry. Local 5, our goal is to go beyond reporting the big stories. We value our community because we are part of it. We stand together on the issues that impact us. And make an effort to understand where you are coming from, your concerns, your stories. That's why we go where you are. We advocate. Celebrate. With you. And strive to be that familiar face that you trust. Local 5 News, your stories, our community. We are Iowa. With most value menus, more cheese means spending more cheddar. But Taco John's value menu isn't most value menus. Now get our Nacho Crunch Burrito with chicken for just $3. Or get it with beef for just 2 Only on the value menu at Taco John's. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Now during the Discover Summer Sales Event, choose Flex Buy on a 2023 Bronco Sport with 3.9% APR for 66 months, only at your Midwest Ford dealers. You know, they say that friendship can be a tough nut to crack. But if you're lucky enough, you can find a friend to pick you up. Lift your spirits. Show you the savory side of life. But then again, <laughs> I reckon that's Fairway in a nutshell. Because at Fairway, you're family. When you drive America's best light duty pickup, summer is yours for the taking. To take bigger toys, to take fun to the limits, and take in every day surrounded by comfort. Make this the summer you take on everything. Make this the summer you drive a Ram. It's state fair time. Now get 2.9% financing for 72 months, or current FCA owners get 7,000 total cash allowance on the 2023 Ram 1500. To all you so-called drive through contenders out there, Taco John's is coming for the breakfast belt. With the boldest, cheesiest, baconiest, potato olayiest breakfast burritos ever, we're not pulling any punches. The new breakfast champ is here. Try a bigger, bolder breakfast at Taco John's. Time for play of the week candidate number one. We just saw this one. It was a huge spark plug for the Wolves. Sam Johnson lost for Will Retz. What a catch. That is how you locate a ball in midair, and then it's a light show for the Wolves. They went on to win this one 20 to 17. Well, Mark Amadeo has been calling football games over the radio for 42 years now. 40 of those years have been spent calling games for Dowling Catholic. It all began during his freshman year of college when he got the call from the Dowling athletic director to see if he'd be interested in doing the radio broadcast for games. He accepted and the rest, as they say, is history. Since then, Mark has been recognized as one of the best at what he does and has been inducted into multiple halls of fame. When a school like Dowling calls, uh, it's, uh, it, it's just a tremendous place to be. Uh, unless you've actually attended class or been a part of that school, taught, been a staff member, you'll know what I'm talking about. And that's what it was for me. 
40 years, as you mentioned, to get the phone call, yeah, this is year 40. Um, I would have never guessed that back in 1981 when I started. Mark has also called basketball, baseball, and softball games for Dowling. And not only is he a Hall of Fame broadcaster, he's also a Hall of Fame umpire. All right, Valley Dowling, not much to say. Since we started the Blitz, Dowling won the state championship. Since then, these two schools have combined for 15 regular season games. Dowling's won 12, Valley's won 11. Where else would you rather be than right here, right now? Boy, did the students come out for this one. Dowling gets a good drive going on the first one, three plays. The second play, Dante Cataldo finds Hank Brown. The Maroons moving. Rashad Davis picked up where he left off last week with 144 yards and four TDs. Takes this one in seven zip Maroons. Now Cataldo on the move again, but this time he is hit and stripped by Kelvin DeSea. DeSea strips the ball. Cole Weeble is on it. Valley's defense holds. This was a slugfest defense stepping up for both teams. We have a developing situation. Matt Kerner with the punt return. It's stripped by Isaiah Pinks. Valley on it. Another turnover for the Tigers. And then quarterback Trevor Willett in the game for an injured Caleb Jewell. Finds A.J. Crown over over the middle. Get the ball to the big tight end. A few plays later, though, it's the Dowling defense once again with the strip of Willett. Dylan Manning all over the field. Tonight for the Maroons, Carter Smith gets on it. In the second half, Dowling gets a big pick from Jacob Kruger and Davis another touchdown, and that seals it. 14 to nothing, the Maroons defense shuts out Valley tonight, but not so fast, my friend. These two teams are very good. I might have them one or two, and you might see them again, and that's happened in the past, like it did last year in the Dome when Valley won the Thriller. Send it back to you guys in the studio. Urbandale at home against Iowa City West. First quarter for the Jayhawks. Rockney Carver lines up for the field goal. That's right through the uprights. Urbandale takes a 3-0 lead. Now West on the goal line, fourth down, and it's a goal line stand for Urbandale. That is impressive defense. Ensuing possession, Landon Rennan, the quarterback, dumps off to Maxwell Hartzell on the screen pass and he's down inside the Knights 30 yard line and then the offense finishes the job. Rennan finds Hayden Moser the tight end in the end zone. Urbandale leads 10-0 and they go on to win this one by two scores. Well, we had some bonus blitz last night. The Hoover Huskies hosting Oskaloosa on the opening drive. A botch snap sees quarterback Kane Bodner tackled by a pack of Huskies in his own end zone. Hoover gets on the board first via a safety. We'll stay in the first here. Damian Miller somehow gets this ball out to Neo Francois. He's going to grab it and blow by his man, hops into the end zone to put the Huskies up eight to nothing. But the Indians would start to build some momentum after that. Threatening from the Hoover six yard line, Kane Bodner finds some room out on the edge to run, takes it all the way in for a touchdown. And despite getting out to a hot start, Hoover falls to Oskaloosa 26 to 8. Well, we are going to take a quick break, but when we come back, two opponents who share a common goal will introduce you to the two female kickers who are making an impact beyond the field. Hansen's knows what your home means to you. It's where you feel safe, comfortable, protected, and of course, no other place provides you with as much joy. That's why our durable, energy efficient, and weather resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters, as well as our bathtubs and showers, are all backed by our lifetime guarantee. So you can feel happy in your home for years to come. With professional installation and thousands of five-star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert, exceeding homeowners' expectations for over 30 years. Get 60% off installation with high-quality craftsmanship you can count on. Or enjoy no interest and no payments for two years. From windows to roofing to siding to gutters to bathtubs and showers, no one's got you covered like we do. Call one eight.
America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Now get 3.9% financing for 66 months plus up to $37.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Get 11% off everything now at Menards. Check out our lighting showroom and update your home's exterior. Patriot Lighting is available in so many unique styles and finishes, you're sure to find a look that's right for you. With more than 300 stock lights priced under $100. Pick up this Treehouse Outdoor Wall Light for $21.97 after 11% rebate. Visit our lighting showroom or check out all our lighting options on Menards.com. Save big money at Well, tonight's game between Van Meter and Des Moines Christian featured not one, but two female kickers. And this is one of the only, if not the only time this has ever happened here in Iowa. And while they may be on opposite teams, both share a connection on and off the field. It's been several years since Van Meter faced off against Des Moines Christian in football. Tonight, the two teams finally met again, setting the stage for a historic moment. Van Meter senior kicker Katie Lindsay and Des Moines Christian senior kicker Gianna Bennett taking the field in the same game. Something rarely seen before, if ever, in the state of Iowa. I love it. I hope, I hope that women and girls can find a role in football. I think it's fun. You know, you don't have to be the quarterback. It, you can be a kicker and it's awesome. This may be their first ever meeting on the football field, but these two are no strangers. We left together and then play soccer. We played on the same team and then also against each other. And so it's just been fun getting to get to know her. But they aren't just connected through sports. They also use their talent to support the same cause. They raise money for Count the Kicks, a health campaign that teaches expectant parents the importance of monitoring their baby's fetal movements. People can pledge to donate one time a however much they want, or they can pledge a certain amount of money for each kick or kickoff or punt, depending on the specialty. Together, Gianna and Katie have raised nearly $18,000 for Count the Kicks. Whether it's being a role model for other girls. Walking through our school, which is K through 12, you know, I pass little girls in the hallway on Fridays when I'm wearing my jersey and they say, oh my gosh, the kicker. So they've noticed or giving back to their community. It's been a great opportunity to do something bigger than myself and get to raise money doing something that I love. These two athletes aren't just making history. They're also making an impact. And both Gianna and Katie have received offers to play football at the college level. All right, let's get into the highlights. Des Moines Christian trying to spoil the home opener for Van Meter tonight, but the Bulldogs were ready to defend their home turf. Austin Baumhover goes bombs away here. He's going to float this one over the defender's head right into Kale Trudeau's arms for the touchdown. The Bulldogs jump out to a 7-0 lead early in the first. Now, Des Moines Christian was moving the ball pretty well, but the Van Meter defense stifled that momentum with this interception. Rhett Plegenkuhl over with the INT takes it all the way back to the other side. Inside the 15 yard line is where they get him down, but the Bulldogs take advantage of that opportunity. Baumhover connects with Jackson and Hanselman for the score. It's 14 nothing Bulldogs. And Dwayne Christian still finding ways to move those chains. Tate Platt hits Tyler Drefke in stride. They'd eventually get deep into Van Meter territory, but ultimately settle for a field goal. But as the game went on, Van Meter would stay hot. Baumhover would deliver another great ball once again to Hanselman. The Bulldogs dominant in front of the home crowd they roll past Des Moines Christian 56 to 17. Norwalk at home against Indianola in a battle for Warren County first quarter first minute Eli Robbins catches a pass for 40 yards but that drive stalls nobody scores but on this one Norwalk takes care of business Kaler Rodman He's a wide out. He catches the ball and he is off to the races. Nobody is going to catch him 80 yards. Norwalk goes up 7-0. The Warriors driving again. They drop back to pass. 
really, really good crowd. Can't tell which purple is which. Norwalk driving again, and it's Jack Hilton for the Indians with the interception. A good defensive battle, but not enough for Indianola. Norwalk goes on to win the Little Hawkeye battle 21 to 14. Well, there's still plenty more to come here on Friday Night Blitz. After the break, we'll take you inside the huddle as the Ames Little Cyclones look to bounce back from their loss in the season opener. Labor Day sale. Summer's over, but our deals are still heating up. Up to 60% off with full factory warranties. Spa starting at $24.99. 14 models under $49.95. Check out the patented tough top cover with a lifetime warranty. Catalina Swim Spas that heat or chill the water. Bad credit, no credit, no problem. Buy now for 60 months, same as cash. 100% in-house financing, no turndowns. Save on products made in America, only through Labor Day. Aqua Living's Labor Day sale. For more info, go to shophottubs.com. If you're like most people struggling with diet-resistant fat, then it's time to call Sonobello to remove it permanently and in just one visit. I struggled with body fat for years. With Sonobello, day one, all my unwanted body fat, gone. I would have never comfortably worn a dress like this. My stomach is now super flat. I feel amazing. I went from a size 10 to a size seven. I have the flattest tummy that I've had in 25 years. Sono Bellows board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells permanently and in just one visit. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Schedule your free no obligation consultation and find out how you can get $250 off instantly. Call 1-800-918-0483 or go to Sono Bello.com. Hansons knows that your home is a place of comfort and protection. That's why our durable, energy efficient, and weather resistant windows, roofing, siding, and gutters, as well as our bathtubs and showers, are guaranteed for life. With over 30 years' experience and thousands of five star reviews, we're your trusted home improvement expert. Get 60% off installation or enjoy no interest and no payments for two years. Call 1 800 Hansons. Get it done. Toyota's national sales event is on. Make the most of summer with a new Toyota. We want the great Tacoma. Great Tacoma coming in hot. On it. Highlander Hybrid. Highlander Hybrid on the double hang. Here we go. That Red Rav 4. Run a Red Rav 4. Hit the deck. Now that's how you holler. Right now, get 3.99% APR for 48 months on five of your favorite Toyota models, like the 2023 Camry, RAV4, Tacoma, Highlander, or Corolla. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. All right, we got another play of the week nominee. This one comes from Van Meter. We saw a little bit ago, Rhett Flagon cool with the interception over the shoulder. Some style points there. Almost takes it all the way back for a pick six, but gets stopped inside the 15 yard line. It worked out though because uh, they went on to score and ultimately got the win at home. Inside the huddle, sponsored by Des Moines Orthopedic Surgeons. Well, the Ames Little Cyclones were looking to bounce back after a week one loss to Waukee, but they were getting some new pieces back and they were looking forward to the challenge ahead of them. The high school football season ready to kick it off as the Warriors come onto the field here tonight. They'll be hosting the Ames High Little Cyclones. Hand off, kept by Beckett. He goes up the middle, he's free. 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown, Warriors. Winky takes it, going the right side, going to cut it up, dives in, touchdown, Ames. Little Cyclones. And they go inside screen to Roberts. Roberts spins it. Yeah. fumbled. Did he fumble? That should be, yep, yeah. Yep, walkie ball. Let go. You know, we put together different playlists of clips and that type of thing. And one of the playlists I put together this week was just called Opportunities that we had in the first half. I mean, we had eight different plays where we had people absolutely wide open. You know, we got a, 
make plays when we have those chances. You know, we ran a reverse and we fell down and just some other things that, um, you know, in games against good people, you're only going to get so many opportunities where it's really there and you got to capitalize on that. When you look back, I mean, obviously there's some stuff we messed up on, but, you know, there's some really good things that we did as well. And I think it's it's really is keep those good things going and uh, and then fix those small things. But, you know, I, it gives me confidence to see some of the things that we're doing. We're excited about this. We, we get some kids back. We get our quarterback back, left tackles back this week. So, you know, it's a, it's a new week. We learned a lot of things about ourselves and we get some key pieces back. I mean, it's a challenge playing quarterback for the first time. I and mean, I've had short stints at backups and stuff like that. But being the main quarterback and, you know, commanding the whole offense, it's challenging sometimes. But, you know, I like the challenge. And, yeah, I, you know, I'm excited. I feel good going into this week. Good. There you go. You know, high school kids bounce back pretty fast, and our kids are ready to go. They're excited to be at home. They're excited to play Centennial, and um, they put in a lot of work, and I know they still believe that they can be a good football team, which they certainly can. All right, little Cyclones on the road trying to rebound from last week's uh, loss against Waukee. Going up against Ankeny Centennial, or excuse me, they are at home today. First quarter, Trent Smith gets it out to Lawson Langford. It's a race to the goal line, but he makes it. The Jags take a 7-0 lead. Second quarter, Brayden Jackson finds the edge here. He's going to make his way past a crowd of little Cyclones. He takes it in for the touchdown to put Centennial up 14 to nothing. but we'll stay in the second here. The Jags going to stick with the run game. This time, they give it to J.J. Moore. Morgan, who powers his way through traffic into the end zone. Centennial holding a 28-0 lead. They take care of business on the road to improve to 1-1 one one on the season with a 42-6 win over Ames. Let's go to Carlisle in North Polk. Looks like American flag themed night. Good crowd in Alleman. Opening kickoff, Colton Manick catches it and he's off to the races. Gets brought down around the 30 yard line. And that sets up the first drive where it's B.J. Tate plowing his way into the end zone. The Comets go up 7-0 after the ensuing extra point. And then, yeah, here we go. Good extra point. We love good special teams here in Iowa. We'll probably see that tomorrow at Kinnick. Here we are at the 50, and the ball's passed to Colton Manick. He goes all the way, 50-yard touchdown, 13-0. And then here's another extra point. Actually, it's a two-point conversion. That one's good to put the comments up 15-0. They're feeling a little risky. And then we go back to the North Polk offense. Isaac Zoski to Graydon Sullivan, and he is in, dives to the pylon. North Polk goes on to win this one, 43 to seven. Well, it's time for another quick break, but when we come back, we'll recap Johnson's gritty win over Waukee Northwest in week one. They say that friendship can be a tough nut to crack. But if you're lucky enough, you can find a friend to pick you up. Lift your spirits. Show you the savory side of life. But then again, <laughs> I reckon that's Fairway in a nutshell. Because at Fairway, you're family. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Now during the Discover Summer Sales Event, choose Flex Buy on a 2023 Bronco Sport with 3.9% APR for 66 months, only at your Midwest Ford dealers. I'm a diabetic, 
and I have severe pain and numbness in my legs and feet. I went from walking three miles a day to having to use a cane to get around to the garden. Five months ago, I came to Central Iowa Neuropathy Center, and now I'm pain-free and cane-free. I'm Dr. Ole Olson with Central Iowa Neuropathy. If you've experienced pain, numbness and tingling in your hands or your feet, you may be dealing with what's called peripheral neuropathy. We've helped thousands of patients just like you. Find us at centraliowaneuropathy.com. <laughs> U.S. Cellular is built for Iowans. It's a network for telling inside jokes from across the country. Built for streaming your favorite song one more time, ten more times. Built for capturing the moments you'll never forget. U.S. Cellular is proud to have been awarded top performing network availability in Iowa with coverage across all 99 counties. U.S. Cellular, a network built for us. Summer is ending, but the savings are endless at Bob's Discount Furniture. And this Labor Day weekend, I'm throwing a summer send-off celebration with 6, 12, 30, and 60-month financing options and new everyday low prices and highly rated living rooms, best-selling bedrooms, stylish dining sets, and, of course, my world-famous Bobopedic mattresses. Plus, entertainment and yummy treats for the kiddos. It's going to be great. Great indeed, Balloon Bob. So join the fun at my summer send-off celebration this Labor Day weekend in all my stores. Well, the Johnson Dragons got off to a good start in week one with a win over Waukee Northwest. Dave Bingham has a recap. Great night to be a high school football player in Iowa. Right here, get to play the greatest game ever. Let's go. Who's going to have the advantage with the heat? It better be our advantage. When things go bad, who's going to win the adversity battle? Things are going to go bad in the first game. Who's going to rise up in those tough moments, okay? Effort and toughness. <laughs> Here we go. Yes, sideline pass. Complete to Simpson. Yes, again wants to pass over the middle. As Minx, he catches it for the touchdown. 21 yard touchdown strike. Johnson takes the give to Woodruff, passes right down the middle. Complete to Ritz. Wants to pass once Simpson has it. Another big game by Simpson. He's still dragging tacklers. Martin again right side. This time the hole is huge. Nuss back to pass. Fires left side for Simpson. Simpson goes up and makes the play again. Makes the give to Woodruff. Flips the pass over to Koning. Plenty of running room down the left sideline. Johnson wants to pass, and he's got it. James with the catch, and they get the first down and more. Johnson under center. Lunging forward, good stand by the defense, but he gets in. Give to Barku. Makes a man miss at the line of scrimmage. Stays on his feet, out past the 30. Nuss looking to pass. Left side, nice catch. Looks like Shaw camping out underneath it. He fields it, cuts. Running room, plenty of blocks, shedding tacklers down the sideline, still on his feet, making people miss inside the 20. Simpson, and that's what they do. They dial it up, Simpson makes the grab. Easy as that, seven yard touchdown catch by Simpson. Johnson drops back, fires across the middle, has Retz. Johnson gives to Woodruff, left side, running room, breaking tackles, rumbling, bumbling, Woodruff stumbling. Johnson rolling, right, firing. Pass is complete at the five. Johnson keeps it into the end zone. Three-yard touchdown run by Sam Johnson. Three-yard touchdown run for the Wolves. There's a snap, and the kick is up. It is good. All right, here we go. Let's go. Nuss. With the pitch, Barku, plenty of running room, left side, making people miss. Oh, he loses his footing. Back to pass, looks right sideline again. This time it's Broadus, and this time it's a catch. He's back to pass, he's rolling left, has time, sets up, has his man. First down yardage, so they gotta pick this one up. Fourth down and 20. Johnson unloads, deep, middle of the field, balls up for grabs. 
knocked around and picked off. Johnston ends it with an interception. This one is over. But it's a great way to win. Winning's better than losing. We know next week we got to play better. Great work tonight. So Johnston headed up north to take on Cedar Falls, and they drop a tough one, 35-21. But a loss in Cedar Falls is better in week two than it is in the playoffs. You might see Johnston there in a little under, or maybe a little over two months. Yeah, My timing's all thrown off. <laughs> It's It'll, football season. It doesn't matter. Beginning end, we're here. There you go. Well, now it's time to take a look around X, formerly known as Twitter, to see what people had to say about tonight's game. So we'll go ahead and get this one started. This one looks like it's coming to us from Clear Lake. They took on a big 21 nothing lead um, here in this game. That was in the second quarter. Let's see what else we got. This is my tweet. Wow, that's a really good tweet. <laughs> A it was biased, maybe <laughs> it was quite the atmosphere. I I say it in the tweet. This is undoubtedly the best high school football atmosphere I've ever seen for a regular season game. Packed, shoulder to shoulder, standing room only. I don't. I kind of cut it off before we get to like around the the end zone club. But there were people everywhere. It was every bit of nine thousand <laughs> that they predicted. Nice. Let's see what else we got. All right, Southeast Polk and Ankeny, also a pretty fun uh, game there. Good turnout, one of those games that you can circle on your calendar. Southeast Polk, though, taking care of business here. You said an earlier statement win. That is a statement win. That's been the biggest rivalry in the state the last three, four years. So to come out and handle business like the Rams did, that will bode well for Coach Zelenovich and the rest of the season. You do have to give a shout-out to Ankeny, though. I love those yellow unis. Those oh, yeah. are my favorite. I want to see those more during the season. Well, we still got plenty more to come here on Friday Night Blitz. Up next, find out who our coach of the week is for week two and which student sections made our fan cam. of mind as in no worries like when you sign up for peace of mind plan service with Wyckoff heating and cooling it's knowing your heating and cooling system will be inspected each spring and fall and will be maintained at its highest level it's knowing that for less than $21 a month the Wyckoff family will take care of your family peace of mind that's what Wyckoff heating and cooling is all about Wyckoff for peace of mind under your roof visit wyckoffcomfort.com America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Now get 3.9% financing for 66 months plus up to 37.50 bonus cash on F-150 and F-150 Lightning. Only at your Midwest Ford dealers. Wow, you've really made our dreams come true. Life's better when you're under our roof. It's... Because when you feel totally protected, you can enjoy the dreams you've worked so hard to achieve. I guess that's what American Family Insurance is for. He's the wise twin. I'm talking about Save up to 23% when you bundle home and auto with American Family Insurance. Get a quote and find an agent at AmFam.com. When you drive America's best light-duty pickup, summer is yours for the taking. To take bigger toys, to take fun to the limits, and take in every day surrounded by comfort. Make this the summer you take on everything. Make this the summer you drive a Ram. 
It's state fair time. Now get 2.9% financing for 72 months, or current FCA owners get 7,000 total cash allowance on the 2023 Ram 1500. Taylor Rodman, he's going for 80 yards for Norwalk. This is our play of the week nominee number three. He's off to the races in a 21-14 win. We'll have your winner coming up later in the show. Coach of the Week, sponsored by Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. The Dallas Catholic Maroons came out on top against their rival Valley. We'll send it back out to Dave Bingham, who's with our coach of the week, Tom Wilson. Back on the Friday night blitz with our coach of the week, coach Tom Wilson, Dowling Catholic. Such a fun time of the year, and I know that you and Gary and you, these teams that are so good and you have to go at each other at the beginning of the year, but still just love Friday night, don't you? And, and this one went your way tonight. Uh, talk about your kids' effort. Well, I thought her effort was fantastic, really, in, in all three phases. I, it's like I told our kids after the game, I'm not sure. I think we always played well, and, and we had too many turnovers and, and things like that, and our defense just kept you know, fighting back, fighting back, which was uh, awesome on their part. Special teams, I thought we were solid, but uh, you know, first two weeks playing the teams that we have to, to be sitting 2-0 and says a lot about our kids. When you look at physically how good both of you are right now, but what's amazing is how much improvement there's going to be. So this game at the end of the year doesn't mean anything, but it's so refreshing to get it done, right? Yeah, it's that's been proven many times over. I know the 19 years I've been here, and uh, you know all this means is in week two we beat them. And uh, you're right, it's it's a fantastic feeling. I'm happy that our kids get to experience this, but in the grand scope of things, we've got a long ways to go. What are you enjoying about this unit and this team? Uh, is there something special about them? I just think we have really good kids and, and they're coming together as a team. And, you know, it's you've got to get a player-led team. And, uh, yeah. you know, I think a lot of times coaches feel like they have to lead. And, and if I have to do that, we're in trouble. And I think we've got good leaders. It means a lot to our kids. They've put in a lot of time. And, and uh, so hopefully we can continue to develop. Stay healthy. You still loving it? You still doing good? Yeah, still hanging in. <laughs> We're still hanging in here on the Friday Night Blitz. Tom Wilson, our Blitz Coach of the Week. We'll send it back to you guys in the studio. All right, well, we saw a lot of great student sections out there tonight, so let's go ahead and see who made this week's fan cam. This is becoming one of my favorite segments. I love seeing all the creativity yes. that we got going on here. This is from the DCG Newton game Western night, Cowboy night. Is that what we're thinking here for the theme? Yeah, that's what it looks like. Maybe Toy Story, some Woody. That's a toga night. Yes, this was at Van Meter, a toga party. I love the commitment to the bit. It's that's awesome. A, that's a creative one. Yeah. You don't see that all the time. Here is Walkie. This game I was at Purple Out. Nothing fancy about it. Students were lined up at 445 when I arrived and it was to the parking lot and there's Northwest just across the way. They were singing Take Me Home Country Roads, West Virginia <laughs> during that part. And then they had a great light show we missed. I believe that's Ames High. Yes, this is the Ames little Cyclones packing it out for the first home game of the season. All the orange and black there. You can't go wrong with repping your school's colors. And this was Ankeny Centennial going with a the jungle theme. That's a good the road jungle show. Jungle slash Hawaii, like tropical. <laughs> I don't know. It's kind of a mix of themes there. But uh, I think the winner tonight has to be the Van Meter student section. Yeah, I, I like the toga. Oh, I mean, the walkies both looked great. They did. But as far as just creativeness, eh, just to color out, it's, it's cool. <laughs> the student section looked cool, but I'm going to have to go with, with the togas for... Just as for just the creativity. All right, we'll see who comes up with the best theme next week. Well, don't go anywhere because when Friday Night Blitz returns, we'll reveal our play of the week. Local 5, we believe what inspires us is worth celebrating. Local artists created a tactile sensory mural for students to calm their mind. It's like this optical illusion that you think it's painted, but it's actually a 3D element. As someone who dealt with depression, anxiety growing up, bringing this space into schools is important. 
very empowering to be a female artist of color within the community and be a symbol of representation. You can make change uh, within the life that you lead. Watch Local 5 News on Channel 5.5. We need to talk about Sonabello. We are getting rid of all of this, all of this today. Ladies, this summer you can cover up or feel confident from head to toe with Sonobello. One visit permanent fat removal. Look at this shape. My tummy is gone and my hourglass shape is back. Wherever there is excess fat, we can remove it. That's what we do all day, every day. Sono Bellows board certified surgeons use micro laser technology to safely target and remove your diet resistant fat cells for good. I could actually wear a two piece after 25 years. I have one big regret. I didn't go sooner. Now with our Best Body Summer event, you can schedule your free, no obligation consultation, plus save $250 off instantly. That's $250 off your stomach, hips and thighs, back, and so much more. Call 1-888-367-7922 or go to sonobello.com. Summer won't last forever, but during Toyota's national sales event, you can make memories that will. Come on. There you go. Whoa. <laughs> Where's my mom? Just be in the moment. Right now, current Toyota owners or lessees may qualify for $1,000 loyalty cash on the lease of new 2023 Toyota vehicles. Toyota, let's go places. of the week sponsored by taco john's all right our play of the week goes to kayla rodman from norwalk this was a thing of beauty taking advantage of being left wide open makes the grab for an 80 yard touchdown anytime you can be play of the week and get to high step jog into the end zone it's probably a good feeling for mr rodman congratulations I bet it's a good feeling to score an 80 yard touchdown i never did it yeah and you get a play of the week Extra point. Fan of the game, sponsored by Wyckoff Heating and Cooling. This week's fan of the game couldn't be narrowed down to just one fan. These two claimed that they were tied for the most school spirit. I don't know if they meant that or not. <laughs> Drea Bagby and Paige Peterson of Waukee Northwest brought the energy to be this week's fans of the game. Because we're the what? most awesome! Yeah! people in this student section. Exactly, exactly. We're the most passionate about this game. Don't get me started. Yes. Don't get me started. No. Key down. Yeah, walking down. Walking down. down. All right. That was chaotic. A lot of passion. And when you fuel a rivalry game in there, of course, you have a little bit of trash talk, but that's okay. Yeah, it just translated onto the field. But it started with those two, our fans of the game. <laughs> there you go. Well, when we come back, we will give away our game ball for week two. Plus, we'll reveal what our next game of the week will be. America, it's time to gear up and get out there in a new Ford vehicle. And it all starts at your local Ford dealer during the Discover Summer Sales Event. Choose from a great selection of trucks and SUVs equipped with the tech and comfort you need to discover your best summer ever. With a large inventory in stock, now is the best time to trade in, trade up, and discover summer with Ford. Now during the Discover Summer Sales Event, choose Flex Buy on a 2023 Bronco Sport with 3.9% APR for 66 months, only at your Midwest Ford dealers. You know, they say that friendship can be a tough nut to crack. But if you're lucky enough, you can find a friend to pick you up. Lift your spirits. Show you the savory side of life. But then again, <laughs> I reckon that's fairway in a nutshell. 
Because at Fairway, your family. Save big money and get 11% off everything at Menards. Sylvania's two-wave LED bulbs provide the closest lighting to natural sunlight. They help you feel better and see things easier. Receive $10 instant savings with a purchase of $40 or more on Sylvania TrueWave LED bulbs. Upgrade your home with new outlets from Legrand. Charge more of your devices without the need for bulky AC adapters. Pick up this USB outlet for $32.92 after 11% rebate. Save big money at Menards. The product that Renewal by Anderson has come up with is a it's a it's a great composite product. It offers insulation qualities better than you would get with just a vinyl window. It makes it durable, easy to clean. You know, you you get what you pay for. Reputation is huge. You know, when you're doing something like this, you know you're going to spend quite a bit of money no matter who you go with. You just want to make sure you put it in the right place. Come take advantage of this limited time offer going on right now at Renewal by Anderson. Renewal by Anderson: the better way to a better window. Game Ball, sponsored by Fairway Meat and Grocery. This week's winner of the Game Ball is not a first time winner. It's Titus Cram. I think he won, I know he won at least one last year. He might have won two, but he had another good game. At last check, according to Sean Bach of 24 7 Sports, he had at least 100 yards and three touchdowns against. They were playing Grinnell. Grinnell. Yeah, yep. not too shabby. I mean, it's no surprise when you see that, that stat line. It's like, nah, that's light work for him. That's what he does. Yep, one <laughs> of the best running backs in the state. And I don't know if you saw his run on social media. He just trucked over like five or six runners. So that one, <laughs> you can like just add 50 yards to whatever his final total is. And Titus, you're very deserving of this game ball. Yes, well, before we get to uh, revealing our next game of the week, we got to take a look uh, back at this week's game of the week, Waukee versus Waukee Northwest. This one was so fun. It was so anticipated. It felt a lot like the three basketball games that we saw in the wintertime. Students lined up outside the door, I mean, in hundreds for two hours before the game, and it lived up to the hype, at least on defense in the first half, the first quarter. Really saw a lot of hard hits. There were a lot of uncalled face masks. You could just feel that it was a rivalry game. And of course, Northwest comes back in thrilling fashion. 13 unanswered points in the fourth quarter. I can't wait to watch this rivalry unfold over the years. Yeah, really just to watch how both teams do over the course of the season. I mean, Waukee looked really good in that season opener against Ames. They ran the ball really well. And Waukee Northwest, you know, even though they lost, they still put up a pretty good performance. So this was probably a good game for them to get back on track and start to make their trajectory upwards. Yeah, Coach Gabe Baker for Waukee was saying how they, they feel like they've kind of closed the gap from the last two years after the split, obviously losing a lot of depth, said that it feels like they've closed the gap between them and the suburban teams that might have been behind last year. And I think that tonight made it apparent they were really just one play away from going on the road in a very hostile environment and pulling off a big upset. Yeah, and if you're walking Northwest, this got this has to feel good, you know, being the newer program, the new kids on the block, so to speak, to get this win, to win the first battle of Waukee. That's got to feel feel good. Yeah, and you've you've got to defend home turf. Yeah, that's that's how it's got to go, and they did it in basketball. Now they do it in football. I'm sure Waukee will be hungry to to get it back next year. All right. Well, without further ado, let's uh, check in with our our next game of the week. But that one is going to be for week three. Yes, we're going up to Nevada. They're going to play against PCM. I can't wait for this one. And if you remember, about a year back, we had Nevada against West Marshall as our game yep. of the week. And that was also the same week that Iowa played Nevada. So <laughs> I'm excited that Iowa is not playing Nevada this year because then I just get to focus on Nevada and I don't have to think about it every time that I say it. Right, you don't have to take a pause and remember which way to pronounce it. Yeah, that definitely helps us for sure. Yes, and these are two good blue-collar schools. They both play hard-nosed football. I can't wait to get up and, and talk to both coaching staffs. Yeah, definitely will be a fun one. Well, we are in the home stretch here on Friday Night Blitz, but when we come back, we'll put a bow on week two with our final thoughts.